Well, we know schools all across the state are shut down. That means parents are growing more concerned about child care. And while daycares are essential and can stay open, News Channel 5's Matthew Torres learned that's easier said than done. Our cleaning process has doubled, tripled, making sure that all the surfaces are staying clean, disinfected, wiped. They're ready as ready can be. Leaps and bounds preschool making changes along the way to keep children and workers protected from the coronavirus. We put a process in place where we're not allowing parents beyond the lobby. But even with how prepared they are, no one could foresee just how bad this crisis would affect their business. We would love to take on new families, but number one, we're really not getting any calls. Leaps and Bounds was serving up to 70 children in the first week of this month. Now that number dwindled down to just 22. With reduced hours looming, employees, some older with underlying health issues, are getting too scared and questions showing up. We've got staff that are fearful to come to work even though we, they know we're essential. Their industry is considered essential and can stay open. The state plans to announce $10 million of grants to help child care facilities. It also loosened some restrictions to make providing the service easier. But Sue Munson says it seems parents aren't needing their services for now. They even had permission from the state to serve kids from grades 6 to 12. She rightfully blames it on fear. We've even seen essential workers mm. uh, pulling their children to stay with a close family member. We're not coming. Matthew Torres, News Channel 5. Thanks, Matthew. Leaps and Bounds plans to open for at least the rest of the week. The owners say they will pay their employees as long as they can, but they've already encouraged them to look at unemployment benefits.